seems like everybody's a coach or married to a coach in our family. Uh, I coach here at Stanford. Uh, my brother John, older brother by 15 months, the head coach of the Baltimore Ravens. My dad was a long time uh, high school and college coach, head coach. Um, for 42 years, Jack Harbaugh. To me, that's that's why Jim and I are coaching because of because of our dad, because of Jack Harbaugh. That's why we did it. And when you grow up and you and you watch your father, that becomes your idol, I think. And that's that's maybe the job of a dad to be you know to be a role model for your kids, you know. And I watched him through his career and the ups and the downs and the, and the highs and the lows and all the things that have happened. And the thing that I, was, I, I guess I learned over the years was here's a man of integrity. I went to Eaton, Ohio for my first head coaching job. Bowling Green State University, University of Iowa, Stanford University, Western Michigan University, and then the last 14 years at Western Kentucky University. Well, my dad, and I say this with, with all honesty and sincerity, is one of the greatest coaches to ever coach high school or college football. Probably most kids would tell stories uh, of their dad uh, taking them out fishing, you know. My dad took us out fishing one time. We had never been fishing. We might have been 10, 11, 12 years old. I think it was the Iowa River. Found a couple worms in the backyard. Skittered down the hill to the Iowa River. Found a little spot there in the bank. Had a nice little lunch packed away. So we throw the lines out there. And it might be five minutes, six minutes, 10 minutes go by. And there's nothing. You know, those bobbers aren't moving one bit in the water, you know? Dad's like, well, boys, they aren't biting today. <laughs> time to go home. That's the last time we ever fished, you know? You know, one thing about the family thing, mom bringing us to practice every single day and, and, and being out there and riding our bikes down there and being around, the players being in our place. You know, we were, we were part of the program. We were part of the team. The bedrock to this family is Jackie. Uh, John's, Jim, Joni's mother and, and my wife. She would walk them out to practice and they would be there for two hours watching practice. Then eventually they were toddlers. Then eventually they did different things. Then eventually they were throwing the ball. But it was always Jackie bringing them around, bringing them around the sport. I get way, way, way too much uh, credit uh, for our children because the, the true, as I say, bedrock to this family is Jackie Harbaugh. People talk about character and that's, that's what they're gonna remember you, you know, long after you die. I mean, your, your name and what you stood for is going to be there forever and I, I, he just epitomizes that to me. It's in my mind, I can't remember where it came from. You just never lie, you never cheat, you, you never steal. Those are nevers. Never lie, never cheat, never steal. No matter what's happened, if, you, if, you're, if you're honest and forthright, we can work our way through it. But once you lie, you cheat, and you steal, relationship can't be, can't be fixed. The thing about football that translates values and principles in life is the fact that it's not, it's not an easy game. It's a tough game. You know, it's funny, players will come to you sometimes, college players or high school players or even pro players, and they'll say, you know what, coach? Football's just not fun anymore. You know, it's time for me to move on. And I ask, was it ever fun? <laughs> I mean, when was football ever fun? It's a tough, demanding sport, and that brings out, it brings out the best in you. It's about the accomplishment. It's about doing something that somebody else can't do. And that demands honesty. That demands trust. That demands res mutual respect. That, that demands becoming a team and doing things together. You asked the people that he coached, and, and you see what he's done. Uh, he's not a self-promoter, but uh, you know he is, he is one of the greatest coaches to ever coach, and I, there's nobody better. The experiences and the people you're around, I think, develop and, and shape who you are.